I'm gonna say this right away so you won't waste your time in the future like me. You can't mine uh, Japanese words with only ASB player, as it says here. So first you will need to install Anki. Then after you installed Anki, uh, you need Anki Connect. Just go to this website, copy this code, go to Anki, go to Tools, Add-ons, Get Add-ons, and paste this code here. Click OK and then close Anki and open it again. Then go and install ASB Player and Yomitan. Now let's set up Anki. Go to Tools again, Manage Node Types, Add, uh, Add uh, Basic, name it however you want, then go and find it here, uh, click on Fields, and add first audio, then image sentence definition and word. Delete the first one front and uh, back second one. So you have audio, image, sentence, definition, and word. Click save. Okay. Then go and create your deck. Name it however you want. Go here. Add a flashcard. Uh, make sure you choose the node type you just created. Choose. And go to uh, cards. Here you will need to paste this text. I will leave it in the description or in comments below, in the pinned comment. And uh, click on back template and paste this. Then click save. All right, we are done with Anki. Now go to Yomitan settings. Go to dictionaries, get recommended dictionaries and install this one. Scroll down and then install JPDB. It's a frequency dictionary. It allows you to see how popular a word is based on Japanese media. And uh, basically it helps to see if a word is worth mining. Then go to Anki section. Enable Anki integration here. It should connect to your Anki. Then configure Anki flashcards. Uh, choose the deck you just created. Uh, model is node type you just created and uh, everything everything should look like that here just copy what I have here the first one audio image sentence furigana you can choose it from here then definition and word uh, single glossary uh, this one you can also find it here okay now Yomitan is set up now we will need to set up ASB player go to the extension and here is the settings. Uh, also choose the deck you just created, node type here. And uh, down here, everything should look like that, like I have here. You can move these sections up or down like that or hide them. So the first one should be audio, second one image field, uh, choose the image. Then everything is like that, uh, it's empty. And that's it. Now go to a totally legal uh, streaming service and open website Jimaku. This is a website where you will get subtitles for your anime. Let's install, for example, this one. First episode. And then uh, drop the file you just installed uh, into the player. Like that. But now the subtitles are all over the place, uh, so you will need to set up the offset. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, you will need to wait when the dialogue starts in the anime. So start somewhere here. Okay, he starts talking.
and you click on these arrows uh, until the words match with subtitles. Nice. So now you are ready to mine your card. Let's mine this sentence, for example. Uh, just hover over word you want to learn, click Shift, and the glossary should appear. Then go and click uh, this green plus, and then on the book. Then uh, this should appear. Should look kind of like this. But as you can see, there is a little problem. Uh, sadly, Yomi-chan doesn't add the whole sentence from these subtitles. So what I like to do is I just uh, copy the whole subtitle and go to Nihon Godera uh, and add Furigana to this text. Then copy it, go back to Anki and add this text here. Then you go back to Anime and uh, click this one, mine. And here is your audio and a screenshot. You can listen to audio here. If your audio recorded poorly, then you can adjust when the recording starts and ends. Let's uh, make it shorter a little bit. Like that, 13 seconds. And click re record here. Perfect. Now delete this sentence here and click update last card. And done. Basically, here is your card. No, oh, wait, I forgot to add the sentence translation. So let's copy the subtitle again, go and translate it. These chicks were made by my grandparents. I mean, just for an example, <laughs> it, it's gonna be alright. And here is your whole flashcard. Very nice. However, I don't like this chaotic uh, translation here. So what I like to do is I just copy all this, Control A, delete this, and we mine the word, uh, this one. So I like to do like that and uh, add the translation like that. And it looks much cleaner and uh, you don't feel overwhelmed when you see the, the whole translation here. Sometimes a word has like thousand meanings, a uh, thousand translations. So what I do, I just add the translation that is applicable only to the sentence I mind. So if, because if you add the whole uh, 20,000 translations of uh, the word, you will feel overwhelmed and it will be harder to memorize the flashcard. So don't worry about remembering everything right away. Just add one translation and, and learn little by little. Also, if you want, you can convert to Romaji or to Kana and also paste it here. So it's gonna look like that. And overall, just modify the flashcard as you like. I like it this way, and it works for me. Well, that's it. Good luck on your grind.